How's it going everybody? In this video, I want to discuss with you all today a little bit about projection. Okay. So, projection. It is a defense mechanism that the human brain or the human mind um, reacts, uses to react to uh, pain and inadequacy and issues within ourselves. Um, it's a defense mechanism that tries to make us feel better about our issues and problems by pointing out the flaws of other people. So let me give you a great example of what projection actually is. So let's say, um, let's just say somebody, you know, let's say Bob, right? Bob, um, he's been living with his parents for 20 years he's 40 years old or something and um, you know he's been living with his parents like all his life how about that he's been he's 40 years old been living with his parents for all of his life and doesn't have a job right but he spends all of his time criticizing other people and giving advice to other people on how to be successful in life on how to make a make a living on how to um, you know, on how to manage their finances, and every opportunity he gets to criticize other people, he takes, right? Um, you know, let's say they're, you know, Bob and his family are out at a restaurant, and some, some guy, like, I don't know, is, is drunk and flips over a table and freaks out at his parents. You know, Bob is, the, Bob is, uh, you know, the projector, um, the one with a bunch of issues is going to be the first one to critique that guy. Like, oh, like, you know, um, that's why I don't drink alcohol, you know, because you end up, um, you know, fucking up your family or whatever. He's, he's criticizing other people and, and trying to paint this image of superiority to make himself feel better about his inadequacies, okay? And anytime you try to talk to him about like, hey, like, you know, maybe you should get a job, maybe you should take care of your own life, maybe you should use some of that advice you give other people um, and, you know, use it on your own self to improve your own life, uh, Bob will immediately flip the script on you and point out all of the things, all the reasons why you're a hypocrite and all the things that you need help on. He'll be the one to say, I wouldn't be talking if I were you and yada yada. Because his consciousness, his ego, it's, it is going to do everything it can to preserve his own fragile self-image and to preserve his comfort um, within his inadequacy, within his laziness, okay? He's gonna do everything in his power to stay in denial, because it's a form of denial. Um, you know, you're, you're in denial over the fact that you need to make changes, and you're in denial that, you know, you're no better than these other people, and that you have the exact same problems, and you might be, and uh, yeah, you have the exact same problems, you have problems yourself, you're in denial of that, um, and that denial requires justifications to maintain. And these justifications are excuses, um, like, oh, I, you know, I, I've been trying to get a job, but you know, like, um, they don't accept me because I don't have a college degree or something like that, or, you know, whatever it might be. You know, there's just there's not enough jobs in society. Excuses and projection. Um, everybody else is so, is so, is such a failure. You know, um, but you know, I miss, I'm over here like, you know, Mr. Success, blah, blah, blah. When the reality is you're not bringing any income into your life, you're not really uh, providing any value for society or other people, um, and your, your living situation is fucked. You know, you're living with your parents. Um, you know, usually these types of people don't really have much going on for themselves. And uh, it's just sad. It's just sad. And they don't want to feel the negative feelings, the negative feelings associated with um, 
basically being a loser, I guess you could say. Having problems, you know, they don't want to address their problems, so they point the fingers at other people. Now, the vast majority of human beings um, project to a certain extent one way or another. Um, you know, to a certain degree, everybody projects. But um, how harmful is it towards your life or, or how much do you have to defend? Like, um, it's one thing to give people advice if you actually have, um, if you actually live that advice in your own experience. It's one thing to give people advice if it's coming from a place of, of uh, true knowledge, wisdom, and a genuine care for others, happiness and success. But it's another thing to give people advice in order to, you know, make them seem like they have things to work on when you yourself are the ones who need to work on those problems. Um, but like I said, in different areas, the vast majority of human beings are going to project to a certain degree. All right. But some people are worse than others, and it's the it's it becomes pathological when you're using projection without noticing it, when you're using projection to cover up massive life issues, like health issues and whatnot. I see it very, you know, all the time, you know, people that have health issues, um, they always try to point out their friends and family's health issues. Um, but whenever they're asked about their health issues, they, they try to flip the script, or they try to uh, change the subject to somebody else's problems. Um, you know, it's a passive aggressive uh, way of, um, distracting and protecting and delusion and an ego trip to feel better about themselves you know whenever whenever the person projects you know oftentimes this advice is great advice for them to follow it's usually like they they they're using other people as a mirror and they're whenever they're projecting they're actually trying to talk to themselves so they don't realize they don't realize that, that the advice they're giving other people is the advice that they want to give themselves the stuff that they know that they should do and when they give that advice to other people they feel like they're following it already kind of, kind of like you know if you know somebody or if you yourself do this if you ever uh, like you have goals or whatever you go and you tell everybody like, yeah, I'm going to get a million dollars. You know, I'm, I'm going to an apartment one day. I'm going to lose weight. And if you notice, you never actually do it. A lot of times it's because when it, just the act of telling somebody, hey, um, I'm going to lose weight, you know, it makes you feel like you already accomplished it. Kind of like when somebody projects, they feel like they're already, uh, they've already solved these problems that they're projecting on other people because they're giving advice. So it's kind of like a dirty high in a way. Um... So, so of course, um, you know, like I said, I mean, I myself, uh, I found recently that in my martial arts, I, um, you know, I, I, I was projecting um, because I want to believe that I'm like efficient and that, you know, I've. I'm skilled and this and that. And so like I'll always, you know, and I, I do want other people to improve themselves and I feel like that's the point of sparring. And I want my, my sparring partners to tell me what I need to work on. So I'll tell my sparring partner, hey, you need to work on footwork, you need to work on this or that. Um, but then like I watch the sparring footage and I realize, oh fuck, um, he's actually pretty good and his footwork's not bad, but it's me who's very sloppy and it's me who needs to work on the footwork. But the entire time we were sparring, I was telling them, oh, you need to work on your footwork. <laughs> so, you know, and for me, I'm hyper aware. Like, I was kind of skeptical about my own advice to him. I was like, oh, am I, maybe I am projecting, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm projecting or maybe I'm a narcissist, you know. I felt like there was some kind of inconsistency going on. But now to watch the sparring footage, I realize oh, I'm probably projecting and it's me who needs to improve, you know? 
I'm trying to like preserve that image of me being the better fighter by giving him advice. But the reality is he's a better fighter and I'm projecting. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's important to, it's important to be able to see this so that you can always recognize that. And projection is, is a very toxic behavior because I've, I've real, I recognize for myself when I project and especially the people that I know are just notorious for projecting. And you can tell them they're projecting and you can put the evidence in their face, but they are so delusional they won't see it. Whereas, well, at least, you know, I'm always skeptical. I'm like, oh, am I projecting? Because I don't want, because I realize how harmful it is. The thing is, it prevents you from improving, you know? Because that's the entire point of it, is to defend your current level of of skill or current level of of um, of existence, it prevents you from going forward and getting better. Because you're always telling everyone else, like, oh, you know, um, uh, college degree is is great. You need to go out and get it, and blah blah blah. Um, without it, you're going to be a failure. But then it's like, well, I haven't gotten a college degree. You know, you can justify it by saying, like, oh, well because I haven't gotten a college degree, that's why I want you to get a college degree, like parents might say. Um, but usually their parent is projecting their insecurities and their inadequacies and their regrets onto their children. And they're like, oh, I wish I would have gotten a degree when I was a child, so you know, you better go and get yours. But the reality is they're trying to make up for their lack of success in their life. And they are the ones who need to go out and get a degree and then teach their child how to find their own version of success. But um, you know, so projection is notorious, it's harmful, it's toxic, it's gonna prevent you from, from improving skill, from improving your own life, um, it keeps you distracted from improvement, it's very toxic. It can be solved if you learn how to, if you understand it, um, but you have to be brutally honest with yourself. Most people just can't because they're too deep in that defense mechanism. So, you know, and the, you know, if you really want a good example of projection, uh, just look in the mirror. No, I'm just kidding. But you, that might work too. But you can actually just go on Facebook and look at, you know, try to find the person who's just giving all these, you know, all these uh, insightful quotes and uh, lessons on success and things like that. Or somebody who's hypercritical and always talking down on a group of people or who's always criticizing a certain group of people. Um, like me, <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing. Maybe I am projecting. I'd like to know. I don't want to be projecting. Um, or you can just like look at the comments on a lot of videos or on a lot of, uh, media sites, right? Um, you know, people project their, their insecurities all the time. Projection is a very harmful thing. Okay, take care of it. And uh, leave your questions and comments down below. Let me know some things that you're projecting that you need to take care of that you keep insisting and see other people.